for my breakfast this morning, I'm doing a flex breakfast. What I have here is one of the Wassa multi-grain crackers, which is 35 calories. And the rest you've already seen many times um, on my videos, if you've watched them. So that is part of a small carb. And the other part of the small carb is 60 calories worth of these red seedless grapes. So that together will be about 9,500 calories for my small carb. And what I have here on the wasa bread is it's whole milk ricotta cheese. I would not be buying this for myself. I happen to have it in and need to use it up. So I'm, and to, the entire container is too much for the recipe that I'm making with it for my husband. So I took a quarter cup of this and it's 100 calories. It has five gram, seven grams of fat, four and a half saturated fat, which is the top end of fat content for breakfast. And we have three grams of carbs, zero fibers, and five proteins. Is it the ideal choice of regattas? No. I will tell you this. Roy of Recipes with Roy, who usually posts in our Facebook group, and if you want to contact him, Actually, I'll put his link in the description box of today's video for you. He makes a homemade ricotta cheese, which I have not tried yet. That would be ideal for a Nutrisystem person to, uh, to do for themselves if they enjoy ricotta and don't want the calories. They Stop and Shop used to carry a fat-free ricotta. I haven't seen it in years, unfortunately. So I can't buy it in the store. Uh, even the part skim would be better than this, obviously, but I'm good with it for today. Um, it's a one-time deal. I put a pack of organic stevia. I put a little bit of pistachio, a smidge, and my cheesecake flavoring. And I put away the cinnamon, but as you can see, I, I put cinnamon in it and on top. Uh, so I am looking forward to this. For my AM snack, I'm having a fair life. So this is 30 grams of protein. It is 120 calories, 150 calories, which is 30 calories over um, the power fuel. So I'm going to carry over that extra 30 as one extra for today out of my three. Next up will be lunch. I am having lunch out today. So I'm as per usual when I go out, I take a bar with me and expect to have a salad, even if it's just a side salad. And so I bring, I have three tablespoons of my homemade uh, balsamic vinaigrette for seven-ish calories, and that's free. And here I have some almond milk out of my ration of one cup a day for 30 calories, which ends up being one of my three extras or an extra, which I don't really pay attention to, and that is not on plan, being quite honest. Um, in any event. So, I am having a pure protein peanut butter chocolate bar. It has 200 calories. It has 7 grams of fat, 3 saturated fat, 17 carbs, 1 dietary fiber, 2 sugars and added sugar, and 20 grams of protein. And by this point in time, you're probably tired of seeing me tell you that I'm going to have one of these for breakfast, lunch, or both. But this is what I do. Um... If I'm going to go somewhere, I bring it. Now, let's say I get there and I decide to put chicken on my salad. You know, I can guesstimate how much chicken it'll be. I'm pretty good at that. A fistful, as they taught us in, you know, one fist, the size of that for your chicken breast. They taught us that in Weight Watchers. It's probably 140 calories. Um, so I, don't, I wouldn't be concerned as long as you know how they cooked it. Um, or even just cold cut ch chicken breast, low sodium, or what have you. So in the event, I always am prepared. I like to be prepared, it keeps me out of trouble. The next thing you should see, if I don't have a snack in the afternoon, will be my dinner. Here we are. So this is my Morning Star Farms veggie burger, and I've topped it with 90 calories worth of Velveeta shreds. That will be my second power fuel. I would have preferred to just use 30, 14 grams on here um, or a slice of boredom, but I needed that second power fuel and I'm really not feeling up to eating anything big. So what I have here is uh, 
seasoned great value green beans in the can um, and that's going to be two vegetables and now let's have a chat about dessert dessert is going to be 80 calories worth of blueberries for my small carb it's going to be which desserts don't always match up in small carbs and power fuels and the reason i'm doing it this way is because this is a 60 calorie chobani zero sugar yogurt and i want to eat it up so it comes to 130 calories i'm adding a packet of stevia to my blueberries as you can see they're still frozen they have to defrost uh for later and so i'm kind of trying to stick to 130 140 calorie um for or less for my desserts is it going to work every time no it's not but for tonight it will now what am i going to have this evening to make up for the afternoon small carb power fuel i didn't eat well if i get hungry i'm going to go i opened it up so i could show you with this um little sunday it's the nutrisystem frozen obviously it's a sunday chocolate brownie sunday cup I have not had one of these in a long time. It has chocolate ice cream with fudge swirl and brownie pieces. And it is 160 calories, which to me is a little overboard on um, a dessert, but it does also have the equivalent, and that's why I'm choosing to have it this way, of one power fuel and one smart carb, because it has three fibers and five proteins and um, yes, we have eight grams of fat, five saturated fat, sodium is 445, 22 carbs, 13 sugars, 11 added. But for me, this makes an afternoon snack because it's one power fuel and one small carb. And what am I doing with this uh, Fit Active Light Topping? This is three tablespoons for 20 calories, so I will split the serving between this and my blueberries with my yogurt which I will put together and then top off with that later on so that's gonna do it for eating for me for today um, thank you all very much for watching I greatly appreciate from the bottom of my heart every single person that takes the time to view my videos and I just hope that if you're viewing it that you're enjoying it and that it is giving you some sort of support to watch my videos and also um we have well over i think we have 1300 participants in the facebook group and that's very exciting to me people are interacting as i've said several times before and it's just very nice to see that so if you haven't joined the facebook group then just look in the description box of this video and you will find all the links to my social media including the Facebook group and on that note I'm going to say goodbye for now and I will see you in the next video